Yep, good morning viewers, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming to you on a Friday morning. Got some errands to run before I go to work. And I wanted to say thank you everybody who sent me stuff for Valentine's Day, which I think this particular person, it's not something that was meant to land on Valentine's Day, but uh, it just ended up being like that. Uh, I got a cool new something I needed, which is a socket set for Allen wrenches. I don't know if you've watched any of my previous videos, but I'm always using the manual ones, and it takes forever to take the thousand million Allen wrenches that I put on my CVT covers to take it off. They look cool, but man, I don't have any tools to get them off. But now, look! Da da da! And a blue case! take off the styrofoam and there they are. This is going to make life much easier for me and I really appreciate it Joe. As a matter of fact Joe I'm headed to the post office. I have to mail you something right another thing right now as part of the uh, agreement we have as you being a Patreon and a subscriber and plus something else I promised a long time ago a one-of-a-kind radiator cover that I made. That was in a live chat. That must have been like six months ago or something like that, but... <laughs> hey, here it comes! <laughs> uh, I did use this for a while. Actually, I used it for quite a while before I came up with the new design. Um, this is more of a stilted design. And this one's actually shared on uh, uh, Thingiverse, if you want to 3D print this one. Anyways, I'm going to my favorite UPS store. I was going to go to the regular shippy place, but... I'm just going to go to the UPS store because they're faster and I could probably get it there by Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Who knows? Sunday, Saturday, whatever. Anyways, let's get to the UPS store. Oh, I got to get gas too. The light's never going to change for me. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get gas first then instead. How does that sound? Let's make this a quick guess to fill up. Oh yeah, look, I, I cut this out. Yay! $2.30 and 1.2 gallons, that sounds about right. Alright, well we're at the UPS store, I'm going to leave the ruckus out in the parking lot, we're going to go inside of here and see if they're open yet, and the answer is they should be, so let's go ahead and wait and get these packages shipped. See you in a second. Alright, well, we went to the UPS store, dropped off some packages, got another Etsy order, which is something that I wanted to mention to everybody. For now, I am not going to restock the 3D printed Etsy store parts because my printer is acting up and I want to get better at printing ABS and reprint all the parts that I made in ABS instead of carbon fiber. Uh, the carbon fiber is great though, it really works very well actually. But uh, I would like to do uh, something a little bit different. So as far as the stickers go, we're going to continue the stickers for now. But uh, I found a problem with some of the stickers. Uh, whenever you try to uh, use the sticker after it's been heated and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold, uh, the sticker doesn't uh, have a tendency to come off the adhesive backing before you peel it. So the idea is if you're going to buy one of these stickers and you put it on, then you need to make sure that you kind of uh, heat it up a little bit. Does that make sense? Like warm it up so that uh, you can... Uh, bing, 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 so it'll peel off easier. You notice it says SEV in the front of the bike because I couldn't get the rest of the sticker to come off and it was very cold outside at the time. So warm 
is best. I also got a couple of other things in the mail. I got all the rest of the Zuma plastics. Why am I accelerating terribly? I just need to get it to the Zuma with the broken belt. And then I also got a part for the Ruckus. It's a part that I'm going to review and uh, kind of do a first impressions and an installation on. Probably do that on Saturday. So, hope you guys are ready for something different. Anyways, I am accelerating terribly. Give me a second here. Alright, so I figured out what it is, guys. <laughs> and it's uh, something that I, I kind of suspected because I wasn't, felt like the brakes were on when I was riding. Uh, what happened is that the, uh, the exhaust is rubbing against the back wheel again. Yay! It's not rubbing now after I jumped on it and bent it and whatever. Um, but yeah, I was on the side of the road, even a cop drove by me, a motorcycle cop as a matter of fact, drove by me while I was sitting here jumping on it, trying to get it to bend out of the way. I also noticed that when I wear my backpack on my back, instead of putting it down here, then uh, it also makes it touch closer, so yeah, my bad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt our, our regular scheduled program for uh, something as simple as that. I need to buy an exhaust. I think we've mentioned this before, everybody. I need to find myself a fatty exhaust. Anyone got one for sale? Like, it doesn't even have to be beautiful looking. I just need one. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you, Joe S., for the socket set with the Allen wrenches that I needed very badly. And thank you, everybody else. Thank you for the burger. Ha. And I will see everybody in the next video. Dun, dun, dun. Whoop, breaks.